Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So support for Windows 10 ended last month on the 14th of October and still remains supported if you opt for the Extended Security Updates ESU program, as you may well know. Now, something that I have noticed is that if we head into our settings, and I have touched on this briefly, very briefly, in a recent update video, is that I have been offered to download Windows 11 version 25H2 because this device can support the system requirements of Windows 11. But as you can see, Windows 10 now directly installs Windows 11 25H2 rather than version 24H2 or 23H2. If you choose to upgrade instead of opt-in, for the extended security updates, the ESU program. So this is very interesting that Microsoft is giving Windows 10 users who obviously meet the system requirements of Windows 11, a direct upgrade path to 25H2 without installing either 23 or 24H2. And this also confirms that Microsoft has released Windows 11 25H2 for more users. Now, something else that's also interesting is, as I've posted previously, I have enrolled in the ESU Extended Security Updates program. And although this is the case, Microsoft is still pushing me to upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2. And you've got download and install or learn about Windows 11. There's no way to dismiss this banner. Now, as I've mentioned previously, I'm leaving this banner enabled. I'm not going to disable it yet from the BIOS or anything like that. Because I want to see if Microsoft eventually forces this device to Windows 11 so I can keep you guys posted. Now, with all this said and done, I personally think that Microsoft offering 25H2 instead of 24H2 is a better move. Because 24H2 was riddled with issues. I experienced a couple of those myself and as I have posted previously, I'll leave the video linked, is that I personally feel that 25H2 is a lot more stable than 24H2 because on my Windows 11 device, a lot of issues have been cleared up after updating to 25H2. Now I do know that 25H2 has one or two of its own issues. I've been posting on that, but I personally think it's the less of two evils, so to speak where 25H2 is at least more stable in my opinion than 24H2. So at least that's a better upgrade path in my personal opinion. But nonetheless, just wanted to keep you guys posted that it seems now that Windows 10 and Microsoft is now wanting you to install Windows 11 25H2 rather than 24 or 23H2. Even if you are like me, signed up to the ESU program. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.